as Jerry Seinfeld says, once you get 48 hours away from a holiday, you can stop saying to people, happy blank, it's over, we're good, and we've got a playoff football team. Good afternoon, Evan. How are you today, kid? I guess you were screaming Mike F. and White's name all uh, Sunday you know, I had a good voice all uh, day until right about now, because uh, <laughs> listening to the radio station is driving me crazy today. Why? What are you upset about? Because we're a bunch of sheep, aren't we? What? Because we did this last year. Yeah, but this is different. This is different. Why? Don't rain on my parade today. Why is this year any different than last year? It's the it's same thing. No, it's, uh, I'll tell you the difference. Garrett Wilson. Yeah. That's number one. The weapons around him. Zonovan Bam Knight. What a move by yeah, Robert nice Sala. Nice job, right? Robert Sala's <laughs> got the biggest balls. I love it. He basically tells his general manager, I know you traded for a running back a few weeks ago, but he can't play special teams. I got a good feeling about yeah, Bam healthy Knight. healthy scratch. I'm going to activate his ass. This is different than a year ago, so jump along the train. I'm on the train. No, I'm a not. diehard Jet fan. I just want to, you know, a little cautious optimism here. Like the Chicago Bears defense sucks. So does the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, they're better than the Chicago Bears okay. defense. The Minnesota Vikings are ranked where against the pass this year? Uh, I do not know that's that. Bottom half no. of the league. Uh, look, you think we're throwing for 350 every game? I think, it's, that's a, the way we're gonna I think it's on the table. I saw Mac Jones throw for 370 against yeah, the Vikings. Yeah, but we said defense. the same thing. I don't want to be a party pooper. I'm no, thrilled that Jess won. You are being a party pooper. It's just that we did this already. It's different. Here's why it's different. Why is it any different? Okay, I'm going to tell you why. So last year, when we all jumped on the Mike White train. Yeah, we did, didn't and we? it was some we're kind of fun We're playing songs. Ride. We're singing. We're jumping up and down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How did, it, <laughs> how did it really end for Mike White? Well, partial was injury. So he got hurt against Indianapolis when he led the team on a beautiful drive. That opening drive game. of the game, right? right? Yeah, yeah. Gets hurt. So not yeah. his own doing. He comes back against an elite top five defense. And embarrassed By the way, himself. They're not going to face another top five defense until they get to the playoffs, assuming they get there. I agree with you on that. And yes, he got he That got was destroyed. the Bills game, right? He got destroyed. He yeah. had one bad game in the NFL. Put the preseason aside, which I watched and was tough to watch. He's had one bad game in the NFL. He deserves this opportunity. Oh, no. Well, listen, I want to be clear. He deserves the opportunity. He's going to get the opportunity. We'll have Robert Sala on at about 3.15 today, and we'll hear all about why he deserves the Craig, opportunity. Craig, Craig, Craig. I'm with you. Think about we, this. We've Think, done no, this already. No, no, Think about this. <laughs> Zach Wilson has had one game in his entire NFL career in which he's thrown for more than 300 yards. Mike White has yeah. now done it twice. The Chicago Bears allowed two 300-yard games in which a quarterback yeah. threw for more than 300 yards. It was done by Kirk Cousins. He's not bad. He's got some pretty good weapons. Yes, he does. It was done by Tua. He's not bad. He's got some good weapons. Granted, the Bears made trades. Their defense isn't exactly the same. Right. Mike White did it again. I listen. Like one more. I'm so happy that we have Mike White. I'm thrilled. So then, why are you throwing this because red towel on I'm us? I'm yelling and screaming at the TV as you can hear my voice right now. And uh, frankly, all day my voice was good till right now. I don't know why that is, but they're bringing me something to drink. I should be fine because I don't deserve good things. You don't deserve good things. Well, I don't know. And that. I know exactly where this is going. Where's it going? And I don't like it. Where's it going? I, it's not going to be pretty against Minnesota. Was Zach Wilson That's what pretty? I'm concerned about. But, but was Zach I, Wilson I want to be pretty? clear. I know Zach Wilson's not the answer right now. Okay. So I have no better answer than Mike White. Mike White's a starting quarterback. And let me be clear. He deserves to be. After what he did yesterday, he deserves to be. I just don't want to get myself in a position yeah. like I did last but, year. But here's the difference. And that's where all you knuckleheads all right. are no, going. No. First of all, don't, don't name call. We're not knuckleheads. We're just moronic Jet fans. The difference is I'm not asking Mike White to be Joe Montana. Okay. Neither is Robert Sala, neither is LaFleur. We're asking Mike White to do the simple things on and offense. And to his credit yesterday, it was the same thing we saw yes. in the one game that he played well in a year ago. All of a sudden, there's open wide receivers, right. and he's throwing them the okay. ball. So you've got and more, I appreciate that. So you've got more talented wide receivers than a year ago. You have a better running game than a year ago. And you have a defense that, despite its first two drives in which they played awful, but then flipped the switch and did yeah. an excellent job. Yes, they did. But to open this game, you know, David Montgomery's going for 26 yards. Brandon Eccles is missing a tackle. Sauce Gardner's deciding to tackle Chase Claypool, which was embarrassing. Twice. 
But the Jet defense responded, and this is an elite-level yeah. defense. This is a different team. And the way this team is built, they don't need Patrick Mahomes. They need a capable, smart quarterback that can read a defense, not try to do too much, and make the simple plays. Yes. Mike White can do that. He did it yesterday. That's what they're going to ask him to do against Minnesota and Buffalo. So last year we were excited because we thought this was Tom Brady. We thought this we was even said our it. version That's right. of Tom Brady coming out of nowhere. Like, I forget the guy that hurt him. Matthew Judon. Uh, yeah, we were celebrating Matthew Judon last year like he was Mo Lewis. We thought it was Mo Lewis. That's exactly we're right. We're not doing that. I'm not doing that. Here's what we're doing. And it's obvious based on everything that was said by his teammates yesterday. This quarterback gives them a better chance to win. He does right now. This quarterback is liked by his teammates a hell of a lot more. This quarterback can make the simple play. And that's all you need from this quarterback in this offense with this defense. So you know what? Yeah. I want to be Mike White. Mike yeah. White. So here's the funny thing about it. You talk about how it's not like last year, how you're not buying into the rah-rah part of it, that you're going to make a judgment just based on football. And I appreciate that, right? But you're not being honest with the audience. What's that? And you know you're not being honest with the audience. What have I done? What have you done? What have I done? You want to just come to, you want to just admit it? Or what? you want me to have to out you on it? I don't know what you're referring to. <laughs> you feel better? No, I don't. I feel worse. <laughs> <laughs> what I apologize. I, what, have, what has little yeah. old me done? What has little old Evan Roberts done? Yeah. Do you want it in white, green, or black? <laughs> Why don't you tell people what you ordered yesterday? So? Yeah, so what? I'm tell not, pe I, tell people I, what you ordered I, I yesterday. I actually ordered a black Mike White jersey because it seems uh, yeah. like that's where he does no, his no. best match. Evan magic. ordered a black Mike effing white sweatshirt right. from the guys at U Stadium. Yeah, so what's wrong with so that? So don't act like you're not buying into it like you did last year. Well, he's You're so into it. <laughs> hook, I mean, hook, line, and sinker, you're into well, it. Well, should I not be into it? Like, why, why shouldn't I be into it? On the opening drive of this game, he did something Joe Flacco couldn't do, Zach Wilson couldn't do. He marches down the field. And here's the best part about it. Last week, Zachariah said, it's windy outside. Yes, he did. In a driving rainstorm, like a storm we've never seen before, Mike <laughs> White, Mike F. and White made it look easy. He made Elijah Moore happy. Yeah. We haven't seen Elijah Moore happy in months. Elijah Moore scored a touchdown he yesterday. He made Garrett Wilson happy. The way he handed footballs to Zonovan Bam Knight, he handed it to him whoop, in whoop. a beautiful way. Yeah. The crowd is chanting his name. Can you hear it? Like, why it's shouldn't Mike I love White. it? Mike effing White. Listen, I hope he's the real deal. I'm just not going to allow myself to go down the same road I went down last year where I spent all week uh, talking about Mike effing White and we got our quarterback and screw Zach Wilson and we're going to the playoffs and then he throws three interceptions on Sunday and the Vikings beat us by 50. So, so, and then I got to say to myself, now who gives us a better chance to win? So this is the Craig Carton we're going to get in 2022. Last year, we got, I'm all aboard the Mike White rah, train. Rah, rah. But in 2022, yeah. we're going to get. Mike this. White ain't the answer. That's what we're going to get. Because he's Mike not White the ain't long term answer. answer. He's the answer for right now. Yeah, Craig, Craig, Craig. And Craig, I'm okay Craig, with that. Craig, Craig, Craig. I'm not looking at this moment to get married. I'm kind of screwing around a little bit. Is that right? I have this beautiful woman. Yeah. Who, uh, you know, we're having who seems fun. seems to like you. Yes. Okay. And we're going to spend maybe a week together, maybe two weeks together. Maybe we're going to spend eight weeks together. And then after eight weeks, we're both going to reevaluate. Mike White ain't the answer. We're going to see. Oh, we're going to fire that, are but we? why in this Fair moment? Fair enough. Why in this moment do uh -huh. we have to figure out 2023? I don't care about 2023. I don't care about Aaron Rodgers and Jimmy Garoppolo and Derek Carr and Lamar Jackson. Yeah. We'll get there. But in this moment, Mike White gives them the best chance to win. I, so let's bleeping go. Listen, I was very happy with Mike White's performance. Well, Mike yeah. White yeah. is the answer. Okay, how many more times are going to play that before that gets old? And I know he told you to play, so I got my eye. Yeah. Yeah, right, I did. All right, listen, 877-337-6666. We got a great show for you today. Obviously, a lot of Mike White stuff, a lot of New York Jets stuff. Robert Sala coming up at about 315 or so. So we're here from the head coach of the New York Jets. And just a capper on the Giants. The Giants are in trouble. The Giants are in trouble having lost to the Cowboys on Thanksgiving. And how about the fact that the New York Giants and Dallas Cowboys 
Thanksgiving Day game is the most watched NFL regular season game of all time. Crazy, man. That is nuts. 42 million people watched that game. That game on Thursday, as pissed off as you should be after they lost, should encourage you. Because the Dallas Cowboys were more talented than the New York Giants in every aspect. And yet, if the New York Giants had more than 10 guys on the field, if Daniel Jones makes a more accurate throw, and Saquon Barkley can make an easy catch, sure. the New York football Giants may pull that game off. Yep, it was the winnable. game is completely different. So as undermanned as they may seem, I think they showed you again last Thursday, they could play with anybody. Yeah, and I thought the game plan was really smart, too, against the Dallas Cowboys. You know, trying to mix them up a little bit, come out, pop, 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 pop. But they did lose the game, and uh, now they're at a bit of a crossroads. Much more on that later today, because I know right now, all you knuckleheads can't help yourself. It's the Mike White party. It's like we haven't done this already last year. Like it's it's almost like a time warp right now. Much like let's go back in time. Much like let's go back in time. Let's go back in time. Make it a mickey. Make it a mickey. It's like an outdoors Valentine's Day tip. They never change. I'm gonna really same thing for 15 years. They never change. I'm gonna really stick it to you with this one. Sometimes stick it to me. Sometimes just like Back to the Future. Yeah, the sequel is better than the original. Here we go. Here we go. Don't start. So the Mike White sequel. The Mike White sequel may be better than the original movie. Because we never got to see the conclusion of that movie. Well, we saw we saw a decent amount, though. Did we? We saw one, three games. One ba- Essentially, no, no, right? No, 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 no. He got hurt in a game. He sucked in a game. He was great in a game. Okay. We had three the, games. The game he got hurt in against We're Indianapolis. We're not going to count that. Throw it out. It was one drive. I know. The game against New England, which he came in after Zach got hurt, throw it out. There were two games Mike White played. A brilliant game against the eventual AFC champion Cincinnati, Cincinnati Bengals, Bengals. And then a disaster against, the, against the elite Buffalo Bills. Yes. One really good, one really bad. Okay. And now he's got another really good one. So now so it's he's two and one. Two to one really good. Yeah. But here's the most important thing. And I don't think we should underplay this because I was really surprised by what I heard from Elijah Moore after this game on SNY. Elijah Moore is asked about what just happened. First, he goes on and on about that opening drive saying, now this is New York Jets football. Okay. This is New York Jets football. Took that as a little bit of a shot sure, at Zach. That's, of course it's a shot at Zach. Then he's asked a very it's easy a shot at Zach. A very easy layup. What message did you guys just send to your fans after a performance like this? And he thought about it and said, what message did we send? Well, we've got great camaraderie on the sidelines. <sighs> and I'm like, what the hell is... Elijah Moore told all of us all we need to hear. This room believes in Mike White yeah. more than it believes in Zach Wilson. Listen, I don't know that we need Period. Elijah Moore for that because I think you see it. It's tangible. Yes. I think we saw it last year with those that Ty Johnson came up with Mike Effing White. Yeah. And he Mike had a good game, Effing obviously, White. yesterday also. I think it's just it's tangible. You can see it. You know, and and if I'm Zach Wilson, all I gotta do is look around and watch how these guys react to this guy. Because it's a, it should be a message that he is, swallows, which is, I've got to change who I am. Too late, bro. Yeah, for here it might for, be for too late. For New York, for yes. our interests as Jet fans, I think it's very, very yeah. likely it's, it's like, too late. It's like this old thing I tell my kids all the time. You know, read the room. Like, cause like, like when one of your kids tries to make a joke when it's not time to make a joke, or it doesn't get that the joke's over, or move on to the next story, you know, read the room. And I don't think Zach Wilson ever read the room. And if you did, he read it wrong. Well, here's my thing. Because the room right now is telling you for the second time in two years, these guys, whether he plays well or not, the guys like Mike Look, White. After today, because I still think there's remnants of what happened with Zach and the difference between Zach and Mike White. But here's the truth. After today, Zach Wilson's irrelevant. He is. We don't spend a lot of time talking about third string quarterbacks. And that's all he is. And unless something happens to Mike White, I hope not. Or something happens to Joe Flacco, and I hope not. Zach Wilson is now irrelevant in terms of the 2022 New York Jets. It, it just, he doesn't matter anymore. Right now in the moment, that's a fair no, statement. Could Mike, that could change in two weeks, uh, obviously, could, but right now uh, that's uh, accurate. Could, could Mike White him. get hurt? Sure. Could Joe Flacco suck? By sure. Way, a lot if of Mike things White can happen. five interceptions against Minnesota, he's probably not starting the next week. I don't know about that. Well, we're going to ask Robert Sala 315. 
Well, we, you and I won't, but <laughs> somebody so, will. I'm just going to ask him the question, I guess. All right, we'll get all your calls, 877-337-6666. Coming to you live from the Town Fair Tire Studios, powered by Town Fair Tire. Nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody. Uh, you got something there, Evan? Yeah, did you hear? I got big news. I don't know why I can't talk all of a sudden. I was great all day. And then you showed up. So I brought it out With of your here. olive oil skin <laughs> and your special charm. <laughs> and you ruined one of Waltz International's greatest piece of throats of all time. <laughs> it's all me. I apologize. Evan Roberts never gets that part. <laughs> and he'd be perfect for that part. Make him a big star. I got very exciting news that every father and mother will be happy about for their kids coming up Ooh, on Christmas. You can buy a Craig Carton doll. Oh, is that coming? Uh, yeah, it's oh, coming. That's, that's right. big news, too. That's right. Damn. 